Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode 16 of Nemesis. This is the final episode of the series, very likely. So it might be pretty long because I'm hoping to beat this uh, uh, last area for the last episode. So just a little progress update. I went ahead and farmed those potatoes that we had in that farm because yeah, food is our only problem. So I got as much food as I could. Uh, I could get more because I have bone blocks, but I think this is enough. I crafted all the torches we needed and I went ahead and crafted the rest of the diamond armor I'll need. So we are pretty much set to go and attack this area. We have no arrows. I cannot craft any because I don't have feathers, um, but we're going to take on this area and hope for the best. I really hope there's nothing already here. Ooh. That's okay. Just a regular skeleton. Okay, we'll just light up the area. Okay. Let's uh, open this chest. A hole, a hole in the world. There's no lore. Just info. This is it. The final area. Make sure you're ready. This place can overwhelm you if you are not equipped as strongly as you possibly can be. If you have any areas left to explore, I strongly suggest you do so before heading here. Guys, this is it. This is it. Uh, let's just go ahead and light up some areas. Uh, we'll run away. Uh, again, we're just lighting up. Pretty simple. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're good. Okay. Um. Okay, those actually hit the charged creeper. Oh, that was really good. So the regular creeper helped us kill the charged creeper. Okay, that's actually... I did not expect that uh, to work so well in our favor. Oh, here's the lore. Okay. I haven't been honest. I'm sorry, and I want to correct that now. Now that now as you're facing your final challenge in a place where reality gives way to unending shadow, I suppose I could have picked a better time. Before, I've referred to the nameless wizard who stood against the Cinderfang cult as they swept through Muriel. That wizard was me. Yes, I'm the one for whom you've been retrieving these magical cores all along. Me. I worried that you wouldn't trust me if I told you, but this seems to have had the opposite effect. I would change it now if I could, but if I cross my own time stream to leave new notes, things could end poorly. Since the whispering underpass, I felt that you were uneasy towards me. Doubts planted in your mind by the entity there, no question. But that's what... Oh. <laughs> But that's one thing. What makes it worse is that there is a grain of truth there. The leader of the Singerfang cult, Cinderfang cult, was my apprentice, Raz. Before he changed, I taught him everything. He became my friend, and I let him in too close to secrets I should have guarded. Before, I have tried various methods of changing the events 300 years from now. People have died in these attempts, and for you, that I feel more guilt than I can say. But no one has made it as far as you. If you're reading this, you stand at the pre precipitous of victory, staring at the power of triumph and the jaws of defeat. This is the end game. Forget any outside influences. All that matters is that you get the core. To ransom the future, you must conquer the present, cast aside doubt, cast aside everything. Everything but your mission. I see you on the other side of victory. Good luck. That was a weighted lore. Um, or was that lore? Yeah, that was a lore. So apparently we've been deceited this whole time. But I mean, I haven't really been too focused on the lore myself. So I'm a little guilty of that. But uh, yeah, um, it just looks like the map creator is just spawning church creepers. Um, which is uh, always fun, right? Because now I'm in hard mode, I suffer the most from this. Uh, sorry about that, my phone just rang. Uh, let's just break that. Good.
Ooh, there's so much mobs. We have plenty of food, actually. Ooh, that was a regular creeper. Very lucky it was. Ooh, let's get out of here. Ooh, that's a really tough mob, that one. He has a diamond sword, huh? He has a different sound effect. Is that a wither skeleton? I don't know, actually. I don't even know if I broke the... Yeah, that's definitely void. Okay. So we're not bridging across. We're ob obviously going to take the fun path. We don't... We don't have... Acid. Oh! Oops. Alright, we're on our way back with no armor as usual. Uh, I think I died. Oh, okay. Okay, we did not die. Ovi, where did we die? I'm not actually sure where I died. Let's just look. I think I was a little farther. We gotta avoid that skeleton at all costs. I don't know where I died. Huh. Oh, I'm just gonna die, huh? Where did I die? I'm so confused. I didn't die uh, in the void. It's over here. Hmm. I'm not sure why I died, guys. Uh, that's kind of troubling because I don't know uh, where all that stuff went. I'm going to have to check back the footage. Guys, we died actually on the path here and I didn't see my items. Uh, that's really worrying because I literally just passed there. I really hope I'm blind uh, because the items are supposed to be right here. I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, I died right here. Hmm. That's so strange. Uh, we have lost all of that diamond gear. I'm going to go ahead and craft what I have left. Yikes, man. That is so bad already. And I'm going to take a bunch of these uh, blocks that I will need. Well, that's uh, that. Uh, we need these two. Alright, that's really... Uh, Unfortunate. I don't. I didn't have Curse of the Vanishing or anything weird like that. Um. So we're kind of just uh, stuck. Uh, okay, we're getting juggled around. I'm gonna have to take it slow. Uh. Okay. Um. Wow. There's a ton of zombies. Ooh, where did he come from? Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put some torches. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Uh, it looks like I'm lagging. Okay. Okay, there's a ton of monsters here. Okay, I don't think they're gonna be giving any chests, you know, in the last area. I, w I wouldn't do that as an upgrade. Okay, that area has been milked. 
Uh, by any means necessary, we're gonna get this wool. Um, and that might have to mean doing what I just did. Um, which is pillar up and... Wow. Okay. We're gonna do it this way. So that... Ooh. Ow, that spider does so much damage. Ooh. Yeah, that that one, this guy does so much damage. Actually, how much does our scythe do? Seriously? I died because of... Oh my god, there's a zombie behind me. Oh, that's so frustrating. What the heck? All right, well, our items should be right here. Uh, I'm going to rage if there's a game roll that's deleting my items every time I die. Okay, there is not, but I still don't understand what happened to my other stuff then. Because clearly, clearly there's no problem before. I'm not going to even bother with these monsters. No reason. I'm running to get the wool. And you know what? I can block jump very well, uh, actually. So I might even skip all the spawners. But we'll see. Hmm. Look at that mob. Okay, that does too much damage, that spider. Ah. Uh, damn spider. This area is so hazardous. Okay, I'm just gonna run around. Alright, um, I'm making a run for it again. That charge creeper ain't gonna do anything. I'm gonna actually keep this guy. Oh, that's not gonna happen. I got really silent there. I had to make sure I don't die. Oh my god. That mob is something else. We're just gonna eat through our full- Oh! My god, that's so much damage. What does he have? Strength 3? Ah. Okay, after getting a lethal dose of this area, I think I'm not gonna take the fun path. Okay, that is so annoying that that just happened. I'm just trying to see where I died. Okay. Can work with this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. I just want to make sure I get food. That's like the number one thing. Okay. I think it's kind of silly to just take the fun path in this area because is it really the fun path? Just just look at this. You see all of the spawners like li like literally right in front of you. I want to Oh man, just one of them is going to kill me. It's so insane. Ugh. Well, these lingering zombies are such landmines in this area. Because I try to run away to these areas and then these zombies hit me off. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run across the top. Uh, there's just no other way, right? Like, I don't think walking across across is wise. Seriously. I mean that honestly. Like, I I've pretty much beaten the map completely fun path, you know. I uh, accept this area. And maybe arguably the last area, right? But this is kind of silly to just go straight ahead, right? I'm just gonna run across, I think. Yeah, this is the only way I see. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna break some blocks. <laughs> so, I don't like the sound of gas because that's just annoying. They're super loud. They're not really difficult unless you make them difficult. Oh my god, I got away in time. Sweet. Hold on, let's make a game plan. Let's check this out. Okay, we need... We need to go. Okay, I'm mining around. Again, I'm gonna be exposed because I don't think that's that's just a little too cheaty for me. Um let's see. I just wanna give myself some view. Okay, I'm gonna expose myself a little bit here. Like clearly I can go one more in, but that's a little too boring. Let's just see. I think this is where I want to be. Okay, I don't know what that- That's just a heavily protected spawner. Super annoying way to actually do that. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna recover health here. Alright, I don't know if you guys hear that, but that is a sound of a lot of angry blaze, so... Oh, I hate doing this, but there is just no possible way to do this. Legit. I mean, this is legit. Don't get me- don't get me wrong here. Look at this. How is that even possible? Any means necessary, guys, to get this wall. And unfortunately, this is one of those means. Yeah, I might have to play a little bit scaredy cat, um, but this is, again, like I said, this is a little too crazy for me. Okay. Again, I'm keeping myself as exposed as I can, but I'm not trying to die at the same time, you know, I will. Powered away a little bit. Yeah, this is... For the last episode, this kind of sucks, but... At least, uh, we're making progress. I'm gonna try to... Obviously, I'm gonna get out when I can. I just gotta take a peek. About the area. So 
I think we're going in here. Where's this light coming from? of this area. Ooh. This is the first time I'm doing this. If you guys are tuning in to the last episode, just to see how I beat it, this is... Okay. <laughs> so this is why I don't carry away completely, because I should be exposed to dying like that, but that was kind of BS. <laughs> uh, that was actually very BS. Um, okay, anyways. I'll make my way back there. I don't know how I'm gonna do that actually. Uh, do you, if you guys remember how I actually got there in the first place? Yeah, I didn't exactly get there pretty easily. We need blocks for sure. So, okay, I'm gonna head back and I'll meet you there. Ow. Okay. Okay, all of these guys despawned, and I have quite a nice torch path going all the way. Just run. Ooh. Okay, I don't have a pickaxe. Ooh. I'm making my way in from here. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. No! Mm. Alright, just getting shot at by a few skeletons. No biggie. As per usual. Let's get that here. Um, I'm gonna run, get my stuff, block myself in. Um. So far, no issues. Okay. Well. We gotta... Mind these. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. No spawners here, right? Okay. Ooh, the moon is right there. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm pretty safe, so I'm gonna get myself situated. Okay. So far, so good. Let's just mine this. Okay, very good. Ooh, run, run, run. Don't need to bother with him, right? I think I got everything. Okay, that that's all there is. I think I lost a few things, but that's okay. Um, the things that I'm thinking I lost was... Well, actually, no. Uh, I have the bow and pickaxe, so I think I'm good. There's too many gas, though. I have four arrows for them. And I threw out some stuff there. I hope this is it, guys. Ooh. There's some of them. So in the overworld, the guests don't know what they're doing. So... They kind of just fly very high up and don't do anything. So, so far, I'm taking quite good advantage of that. Oh! Okay, good. Oh! Wither, the wither effect is too hard, man. Because the thing is, I can't see my hearts. And when that happens, it's such bad news. Cool. Make sure he can't get up now. 
cool. I'm gonna mine that spawn right down there. Yeah, I almost gave them a path to me. There's just no good way to fight these guys. This just, they take, look how much, this is just not even fair, they're like boss mobs. It takes so much to kill them. Alright. We can easily go back up. Oh, where'd you come from? Alright. How much? We have six arrows. I want to get that chest, though. I gotta go this way, because I don't think there's anything beneath. Ooh, okay. Get some arrows. Um, I just activated a ton of spawners. Oh man. Wow, that's so much mobs. What is that about? That is so much mobs. Huh. Okay, I'm just trying to think of a game plan here. Oh. Uneasy Alliance. What was that all about? Was that a- hold on. Was that an advancement in this? Specific map? Husbandry? Nether Adventure. I don't know where I got that from, but... Okay! <laughs> Uneasy- rescue a gas from the nether, bring it safely home to the overworld, and then kill it. Okay. That's actually a Minecraft achievement. Um... Alright. Damn. Okay. I don't know where that gas came from. Come on, hit that guy. Oh my god. Oh, we survived. Holy. Oh my god, we survived that. That's so much mobs. I got under. I honestly don't understand the expectation here. All I'm seeing is the map creator throwing a ton of his hardest spawners that he's created all in one enclosed area. Like I don't. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem super fun. I'm gonna run over there. Oh, I'm done. Oh, 
Ooh, got some arrows here. Oh, we survived. Wow, look at that. I'm really confused how I'm surviving stuff like this. Oh man, I don't, don't want to waste arrows like that. Um, I need a pickaxe. Uh, the problem is such a place does not house pickaxes. Kind of have to use this guy. Oh no. So, these spiders are insane. They hit so hard. Return to Sunder, huh? I'm slowly getting rid of the spawners, which is cool. Ow. That might kill me. There's got to be a ton of items I don't need. Um, that's being thrown at me. Okay, I don't need all of that because I have a ton of stone. Okay, good. I'm just going to mine these guys. Okay, looks like they're going to hit each other. So if you're a skeleton with a bow, oh, well, he just died. I want arrows, that's why. Jesus. I need to know what you're doing. No, you don't. Oh. Uh. I you need to know what I'm doing. Ooh. That's a nice one. 10% speed from this guy. 5 attack damage. Okay. Ooh. 18 diamonds. Let's just see what we got. Alright. Okay. I can work with this. Alright. Watch this. Mm-hmm. Pretty simple. Okay, never mind. Hit him, hit him. Oh, close. Hmm. Ah! Too far. Okay, anyways, the wool is in here. Oh, hit each other. There we go. Fight. Fight! I love upsetting them. 
That's actually a good thing about how he's spawning so much is that there's a high chance they're gonna hit each other and actually kill each other for you. Again, it's pretty cool. I don't think it's a good unintended feature. I think it's still a bad unintended feature because there's just too many mobs, like how I'm playing. But, uh, yeah, um, it's just something you gotta deal with, huh? Ooh. Like, every hit I take, I have to run away, completely disengage the fight. It's not the way I think it should be designed. I mean, yes, this is the last area. It is the hardest area. And I don't exactly have full diamond, but, and I'm on hard. But there is just too many haphazard mob spawners later around. I don't know. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this just me uh, playing the map and being bad? Or is this actually not the greatest of mob place uh, spawner placement? Again, like I said before, it looks like the map creator has taken all of his hardest spawners and just placed them one by one in this area uh, or next to each other pretty much. Uh, in some cases, you got blazes uh, with these guys. Um, yeah, it's quite. It's not exactly balanced, it looks like. I mean, I have even attack damage increase on my stuff, and it's not enough. That should be enough. At least these guys don't have knockback resistance. That actually would have been too, too, too much. It's a little too risky with half health. A little too risky. I was playing right there. Let's see. And there's a little too much spawners, I think. For what's going on in such a small room. Oh wow. I died in here. Alright, I'll meet you guys back. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, actually, what am I thinking? You guys want to see another death? Just wait a few seconds. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, that's a power four bill. Hold on. We actually might be able to get through this area. Oh, just keep running. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's a freaking villager. Uh, whatever that is. Um, I forgot exactly. It's a a trading villager. Uh, wandering trader. That's the name. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. How did I survive getting all the way over here with nothing, no armor? Guys, I tell you, this map is weirdly balanced, I'll tell you. Okay, we're gonna have to escape the guest. Actually, no, we can kill him. Okay. I don't want to be seen by any other mobs. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. Alright, so far so good. I have a pickaxe, okay. Alright, I think that would be it. Yeah, I kind of have to dump everything I don't need immediately. But let's go up here. I don't have torches. 
Oh, run, run. Ooh. Ow, man. Okay, um... I need some sort of chest. I haven't learned any yet. How come I can't hit this guy? So many arrows being lost. There we go. Okay, um... I think that's about it. Let me just put on some armor. You guys are probably yelling at me to put on some armor. But thankfully I was safe, didn't take any damage in the meantime. God, those guys are just too far. Oh wow, I have like 20 arrows. Okay. I hate them. God, he's too far. I'm just gonna run past this guy. Doesn't mean anything. I gotta run because I just took one hit. The thing about this area, man, uh, it's just taking an extremely long time to beat it because of that. That one fact. I might just d dig in here. See if I get in there this way. Oh, look at that. I don't want to give uh, room for the spider to hit me. Let me see if I can... I don't have any slabs. Ow. I mean, I have pretty high attack speed on this sword, which is really good. Come on, hit, hit this guy. Yes! Anyways, I'm gonna mine up. Go to the next area. Okay. This is kind of silly. Let's just get the wool. Alright, let's see. Can't mine too much. So that light, by the way, that phantom light that I'm experiencing is because of the Optifine mod that's giving me light um, based on like holding a torch and holding glowstone. It's kind of silly. I'm just gonna keep going up all the way. I'm gonna kinda avoid most of this and then come back to it by getting the wool. It's a teleport, huh? You may be saving me, but soon enough. Something I trust in saving this world, what will you do to the others? Oh my god. Back to Mario? Oh, no way. You can't be serious, right? <coughs> well, I'm in a loop. Clearly in a loop. Okay, I'm literally gonna run for this. 
shit, I'm mind the initial spawners. Welcome to my room. I like how almost running through this area I don't have to record because it's kind of purged. As you can see, no monsters spawn here, except for wandering traders. Uh, that's actually really good. Mm, okay, just stopping for that chest, I was too greedy. I should have just kept going. Oh, what a long recording, huh? Alright, I gotta record because I took too much damage. Skeleton hit me and some fall damage. Okay, nothing in there. Gotta just run, pick up some stuff. Just keep going uh, for now. Don't need any of this stuff. Okay, no weapon as far as I know. Damn, that's tough. Oof, man. Alright. Let's make our way back and hopefully we can get our weapon, at least. Actually, we can do that from here. I bought two stacks of blocks just to teleport to the top, basically. Okay, I'm just gonna cut. Okay, I'm here. So I did break the initial spawners here, so I should be fine. This is kind of a safe area. I kind of have to run through this area, just like that. All right. Um. Pretty much set on my gear again. Gonna have to throw a lot of this stuff away. Um, help throw some things away. Um, I kind of just want to go back, um, since I can, yeah, that's a lot better, I'll let these guys despawn, and I'm going to break the spawner immediately here, okay, this area is safe, I've purged this area, okay, nope, not safe. Okay, let's move between. Alright, we need enough inventory space to just get out. So, I tell you what, I'm going to eat this once again. Uh, throw out the gunpowder, don't need this bow. Um, we need this bow though. Infinity bow! Okay, I just noticed that now. Uh, that would have been nice to know in the beginning. Oh, that bow is really critical for me. Uh, we need that. Okay. Um, what do I want infinity of? Actually, it's going to use these arrows anyways, but I have arrows for it to use. Okay. Hold on. I do need some blocks, guys. Alright. Have you ever felt it? The feeling I do now? of going from the highest of the high to the bottom of the world. Most may never make it back, but me, I will one day. And on that day, the sun, stars shall hide. 
Oh, wow. That's super evil. Silverfish blocks. Wow. Okay. I like it. I like it. It's got some sort of difficulty to this area. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, here it is. The black wool, guys. We did it. Oh, wow. It's not that far. Okay, let's fully, fully heal here. And I'll meet you guys back. I'm taking an extra wool to be super risky. But I think we got it, guys. Mm -hmm. Just let them hit me. That's okay. Alright, yeah. I think we're okay because as long as we don't collide with them, we're pretty much safe. And I'm just going to mine my way down. I am not going to bother. Uh, we need to get this wool back. Again, I took two, just so you guys can see. Um, Alright, let's see. What is closer? Let's just scale down here. It makes it a lot more fun. Do I have feather fun? I do. Okay, I'm going to wait till I can eat again. Alright, let's make it down. All right, and then last but not least, this fall. Okay, let's just run. Okay, we died. <laughs> right next to the spawner. Okay, I'm able to recover that stuff pretty quickly, and I'll be right there. Okay, I'm going to record this whole part because... I want to take some time to reflect on what happened earlier. So we're about 45 minutes into recording. This is the longest episode ever. Uh, understandably, there's different teleporters within this area. That's how big it was. Uh, let alone. Okay. I think I got everything. Just run. That's far enough away. Let's get this stuff on. All right, I'm just gonna put this stuff on, as I mentioned. All right, that should be enough uh, inventory management. Okay, so, like I said, uh, now that I have the wool, I have two of them. Uh, this area was definitely uh, haphazardly placing monster spawners that he, the map creator designed, uh, I think, uh, I mean, obviously you want to use your hardest spawners, but you still got to think about how the player is going to go through the area and what kind of spawners you want to use. Uh, I don't know if that thought process exactly happened with this uh, map creator. No offense to map creator, but it's just some constructive criticism. I do think that, you know, again, those spawners, definitely a lot of them are placed together uh, very open too. Uh, it was just a bridge in the void, one block wide, uh, or one block thick. Um, you've done. I can't believe it. Thank you for giving me the power to fix my mistakes. The future of Muriel is saved. All thanks to your work. Your quests will be known throughout the years. Your name carried along the winds of time. Thank you, Champion of Muriel. All right, guys, we've completed the map, finally. Um, yeah, like I said, this video is dragging on for a while, but um, I'm going to go ahead and place this wool right here for the extra difficulty that wool was. Um, yeah, again, so much haphazard mob spawners. And uh, do we have a flame, though, to light that up? Yes, we do. And let's celebrate with some lag while waiting for these arrows to hit. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching the series. It's been quite a blast. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, likely in the next video. I do want to actually go in through this map in spectator mode and 
kind of walk through more in detail what I thought about the map in kind of a map creator perspective sort of way. But thank you again for watching the playthrough of the map. Feel free to tune into the next video regarding this map to see that kind of criticism and overall analysis of the map. Overall, again, very, very good. Uh, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, tune into that video if you want to hear more. Thanks so much for watching the series. What a great map. And wow, that took a while to beat that area. Peace.